Hey. Um, Dirty Seas, and as you can tell from the title, um, I relapsed into self-injury uh, last night, and, you know, it. I wanted it for so long, like, there were triggers, and I did all I could do, well, I thought I did all I could do to avoid it, and you know, say, okay, well, what can fix this situation without hurting myself? And basically, lack of sleep, extreme stress, and um, just everything that's going on right now, I basically made myself, talk myself into it. Because, you know, as I said in one of my other videos, one of the ways I avoid it is I go and look in the mirror and say, okay, I want to cut because of this, and this is what I want to do, and this is what I believe it's going to fix, you know, and usually that's enough to snap me back into reality and say, well, no, that's not what you want to do, um, but unfortunately it was not enough, and I wound up just making it make sense in my head and out loud that it was going to fix things, it was going to help me, and, you know, I basically talked myself into it, um, so, it's almost, it was <laughs> almost 16 months without self-injury, but, you know, now I'm at almost 24 hours without it, um, and you would think that it would just set me back to square one, and I wouldn't feel, I would feel horrible and everything, but no, I'm not, I'm choosing not to sit there and petty myself and say, well, now I'm back at square one, and I'm refusing to go back into that mindset that, you know, oh, well, I did it, you know, um, it doesn't matter anymore, I can do it now, it doesn't matter, I, I have no record of, uh, to break, because, because <laughs> I went 15, almost 16 months without it, and, um, so, it, it's discouraging, because it, you work so hard, but there have been triggers lately that I've been feeling that I haven't felt, and, um, they were just strong, um, and I was really at my, my stress my peak stress, and I just couldn't, I couldn't control anything that was going on, and like I said, I took myself back into it, um, but no, I do not go back to square one, those 15 months are not lost because I cut, you know, those 15 months, I learned a lot about myself and other ways to deal with it, and this is just another learning experience, too, saying, okay, you need to manage your stresses better, you know, and I should have called somebody, I should have talked to somebody, but I didn't, you know, and I, I've actually cut back on therapy, and I'm not going every week, I'm going every other week, and a lot, a lot of things have happened, and I knew that I probably should have gone back to, um, once a week at least, um, but I didn't, I chose not to, and I thought I had everything under control, and it just, it's a reality check saying, you know, I'm, I'm human, I make mistakes, and I do need help, I can't, I can't do everything on my own, so I'm actually in pretty good spirits today, um, honestly, it wasn't that bad, but, you know, it doesn't matter how bad it is, I did it, and, um, but I don't want you guys to feel discouraged or anything, because, you know, as a learning experience, just, just grasp onto the positives, and, um, don't, don't worry about everything else, you know, so, you know, relapse is relapse, and 
I will continue to go as long as I can before another one. And maybe, maybe I'll never have another one. That would be great. But, you know, I'm human and I'm okay with that.